Hello, there is Fimpossible Creations and this will be tutorial in which we will improve animation feeling of the Unity Starter Pack character movement. So initially it moves like that and we will make it move like this. In addition, we will quickly set up character to move on uneven platforms like that instead of moving like that. Ok, let's start the tutorial. So we start with this scene and there is character movement object and it moves like that and you see that this sliding of the character when it's rotating is looking very artificial in this controller but we will fix it in later. First let's set up the Linux animator. Let's go to Fimpossible Creations, Animating Linux Animator and let's drag and drop it. And already let's hit play. And you see it's already doing some job. But the link is clearly too, too big. Let's go much slower, lower with the value. Even less. If you need to know what these parameters are doing, please check previous tutorial or you can enter on these parameters to display tooltips. Alright, this character movement is not having rigid body, so if we want to use automatic acceleration detection, we should switch to transform based detection. And you see that this current speed here isn't stable with this option. And to handle it more correctly, we need to do some custom coding, which we will do in a while. But now, let's make this character movement look a bit better when moving like that. And we will use just few simple lines of code. So, we can open the third person controller script. And here we have the component made by Unity Team. And let's find method responsive for accelerating, decelerating and movement. Yeah, I think the move is responsive for that. And here we have input values, so there are done calculations when, when pressing some keys to move, which will be pretty important, but later we won't focus on the direction of the movement. And there we have it. What we want to do is moving object accordingly to its current true rotation. So for now let's just force this controller to move like that. Let's define variable for our new direct movement direction. And let's just transform forward. For now let's just paste it here by force and check how it works. And now you see the difference, when we run in circles, it looks like that. So it gives kinda root motion animation feeling. But in some cases you don't want this because for example when you want to run forward from this position, the character is moving to the sides instead of moving directly forward. So now to solve this we will make character move in the old way when starting to move, but when fully accelerated, it will blend to the direct movement. So now let's define some variable to blend these two movements. And it just be float direct move blend. By default, let it be disabled. And let's make range from zero to one. It will be like percentage blend. And we can use it like target direction is vector tree DRP. It will make transition between these two values. Target direction when direct move blend is zero and direct movement when direct move blend is one. So we must move by this value. And now you will see we can blend it. It will just show you how we can control it now. So when zero, it will move in the old way. When we move to one, it will be direct movement. And we can do like partially this and this. 
to get some more customized effect. And now let's synchronize it with the acceleration. To do it, we will use one additional float variable. It will be, let's call it direct blend delay by default zero. And when we pressing something to move, we will go like increase this value by delta time. And if this value is larger than one, we want to keep it one. And when nothing is pressed, so we are breaking, we can go with this direct blend minus time, delta time. But let's make it quicker. And also we want clump it, but let's say we want clump it on minus 0.2 because we want some delay when starting to move for the direct blend. It equals minus 0 0.2. And now we can use this value. As you can see, it goes from minus 0 0.2 to 1. And we can just multiply the blend with it. And now let's change the direct movement to 1. So max blend is 1. And now when we start to move, character is not shifting to the sides. And when accelerated, it's moving with direct movement. All right. Now when we have this done, let's make it one by default. Uh, we can make the control of the speed for the link animator more stable by using custom detection. And all we need to do is deliver some information to the link animator. And we can simply do this by defining reference to the link animator. Let's call it animator and control that for automatic finding namespace. And it's in namespace. So you need to have this line in order to see this class. And let's call it leaning. And now at the end of this movement method, we can add like leaning that user deliver is accelerating to inform a leaning animator if character controller is currently trying to move. With automatic detection, it was guessing, but now it's just sure information. So acceleration is driven by this value. So if input isn't zero, it means character want to move. We can also deliver information about grounding which is in this character movement controller supported and also we can deliver some acceleration value which is speed for this particular character controller we hit save go back to the unity and now we need to assign our component through inspector window and hit play and you see here our values are supported and everything works and more stable. If previously you wasn't satisfied with a breaking feature, that's probably because of automatic detection which make it less stable. So now we could tweak the values a bit, but we done it in a previous tutorial video Last thing to do, we can just enable aligning with ground and spine align. And thanks to that, the character is moving on the uneven platforms like that. And that's all for this tutorial. I hope you liked it. If you have some questions, please write in the comments below. Subscribe for more. Hit the bell for notification about new videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.